collective i hope you are doing well wherever you are in the world i am coming to you collective with a reading for you this could be this could resonate maybe you're trying to reason with somebody okay but this could resonate with you whatever placement wherever in your chart okay so don't get too caught up on the signs we are going to just be shuffling and seeing what spirit wants you to know at this time thank you to everybody who has liked shared commented and subscribed to the channel it is greatly appreciated it is a change of setting because i am busy in my house at this time packing and getting ready to move okay so please bear with me i might be doing readings in very strange places for the next couple of weeks until i get reacclimatized and then there's going to be a whole brand spanking new setup for tarot okay let's see messages for the collective what does spirit want you to know at this time collective spirit please guide and protect me as I deliver clear and concise messages that the collective need at this time. We're just going to be freestyling with the tarot. Maybe draw for some kipper cards. Let's see what else. Okay, let's see. Messages for the collective. I've actually not used this deck in a long time. I dragged it out of my um my tarot stash that's downstairs in my packing today. I was like, yeah. I kind of put it away because I was using it like religiously when I first started the channel. Okay, this is the Modern Witch Tarot. Let's see. Messages for the collective. Messages for the collective. Oh, itchy cheek. Messages for the collective. What do the collective need to know at this time? We've got the death card in the reverse and the full card in the reverse. Hmm. Strength card. Some of you could be dealing with a Leo. Scorpio energy. Two of cups. Ten of cups in the reverse. Interesting. Somebody here. Is somebody not changing something here? Somebody's resistant to change. Somebody could be doing really foolish things at this time. Very impulsive. Making poor choices. There is a connection here that I see, but with the ten of cups, ten of cups in the reverse, this is something that isn't a happy situation. Could be you, could be somebody at a distance from you. Take it as it resonates. But there's definitely somebody here who's moving like a tyrant. Could be a Leo, okay, with the sun card in the reverse, the wheel of fortune in the reverse. Yeah, for some of you, there's a Leo specifically now this leo has been the empress is at the bottom of the deck this leo has been coming up a lot in scorpio readings fire signs in general i'm finding are kind of entering the chat with everybody's reading so i don't know what's going on with you fire signs out there no offense to you guys but you're up in everyone's reading at this time with the wheel of fortune in the reverse this talks about somebody not learning the lesson somebody could be repeating the same cycle over and over again but the irony of this is is that with the sun card in the reverse this is somebody who is not actually happy it's almost like doing the same thing and expecting a different result or doing the same thing and kind of finding themselves in a bind every single time but not really doing anything to change what they've got going on here this is a person who may be resistant to change okay and with the full card in the reverse this person doesn't make the best decisions and it kind of puts them in some sort of cycle of doing the same thing over and over i feel like there is an, a connection on the table whether you're connected to this person collective or this is a person who may be in a connection of some kind but with the ten of cups in reverse this is not a happy union here the Empress is here and the Ace of Pentacles is in the reverse. Is somebody fumbling an Empress? Is somebody missing out on an Empress here? Missed opportunity. If you are this Empress, very secure, very attractive energy, you could be in manifestation mode at this time. A lot of good things could be happening for you. Three of Swords in the reverse. The hanged man. Whoever this is, if you're the person who's dealing with somebody in a connection who may just be doing the same thing, um, with the high priestess, I feel like your intuition is telling you something here, two of swords. This could be something that you didn't want to see in the past. 
Eight of Cups is in the reverse. You didn't actually want to walk away from whatever this is, or someone didn't. But with the Ace of Swords in the reverse, there's a lot of un there's not it's not very clear what's going on in a situation and where you may have held on to this or not really wanted something to end. You was resisting walking away. Could be you, could be somebody else, could be a Pisces involved here. There was something that you didn't want to see, or you could have been in denial about something, or someone was. But your intuition is screaming at you at this time that this person is not changing. And it's in effect, you're kind of going around in the wheel with this person or on this wheel of bad karma, bad luck, because something is, is not changing here about somebody. With the Three of Swords in the reverse, this is somebody who I feel like you will be okay departing from this person you've got to ask yourself collective if this is you that's dealing with a person who's doing this and i feel like this is the mindset that you're in because the hanged man is next to it i feel like this person's keeping you stuck this person could be kind of dangling you on a string string along type of energy you've got to ask yourself like you know are you actually genuinely happy within a situation where you're not being fulfilled because the ten of cups is in the reverse who is missing out here and there's so many other opportunities that you could have at your fingertips. But instead, you could be keeping yourself in a situation here, whoever I'm speaking to, where somebody is doing the exact same thing. I'm getting a hamster wheel here. Tell me about this person. Death card and the full card, please, in the reverse. Five of cards. It's just like this person does things and immediately, immediately, after they do whatever this is, there's instant regrets. Yes, four of swords. This is a person who does the same thing over and over, acts really impulsively with the full card, does really silly things, doesn't change what they're doing, but yet expects a different outcome. And then when it all goes to crap, or when the, you know what, hits the fan, five of cups, four of swords, they go into this deep sadness of, oh, maybe that wasn't the wisest decision. But this is a person who continuously does this. This could be a person who kind of blames other people as well. Justice. King of Pentacles. The Lovers. Ooh. If you, you could be a Libra. If you're specifically a Libra, um, you could have an earth sign who's coming in, somebody who is going to put this person to shame. That's what I'm getting with the lover's card. There's another option that's going to be made available to you. And this is kind of justice for this person and for you, because it's almost like this person's going to come in and kind of show you a lot of stability this person is going to be very genuine generous this could be a person where their love language language is gift giving or something around looking after providing stability this could be a person who likes to provide in some way with the lover's card you're going to feel a really strong bond to this new person and it's almost like you're going to look back at this this other person or you're going to compare i feel like with the justice card now the justice also talks about balance here it's libra energy but you know with that scale i very much get an energy of you weighing up you're going to be comparing and i would never condone comparing anybody to anybody okay because each person is individual in their own merits but there's an energy here of you looking at the person that you've been dealing with and then looking at the person who comes in and thinking, do I really have anything to think about here? Seven of Swords. No, you don't have nothing to think about because this person's on some BS. <laughs> Sorry to laugh. Tarot, spirit just comes through every single time. Seven of Swords. No contest, nothing to think about. It's not a hard decision. It isn't. This person has continuously possibly hurt you, continuously done the same thing, and you're not actually happy in this connection. Clarify that two of cups. Knight of pentacles. Eight of pentacles. And the ten of swords. It's almost like you build up somebody, you give all your loyalty, you give a lot of your time, your energy, 
into kind of making things work, very, very hard working at making this come together. Whoever I'm speaking to, you could be an earth sign or you're dealing with one Capricorn, Virgo or Taurus. King of Wands could be very attracted to this person, could be a, a strong attraction between the two of you in the bedroom specifically. But you spend a lot of your energy and time being loyal, paving the way is what I'm hearing, working on a connection, a union, for somebody to just continue to crap all over it. Ten of Swords. So when this new person comes in, I hope you don't have any doubts or second thoughts because if this person wanted to get it together, then they would have a long time ago. There's going to be regret here, but this is only after they see you being treated well by somebody else. They see you going towards another option, an earth sign or a Gemini, and then it makes them think about their actions and the fact that they should have did this. They should have changed this. Maybe I shouldn't have done that over and over again with the Seven of Swords. Can I find a wheel of fortune? What is to come for this person? Two of swords, they're, they're, they're not getting the lesson. They're not getting it. They're not getting it. They're so closed off. For some of you, they're running from karma with their seven of swords there. Magician card. Things are eventually going to come to a standstill for this person. With the, with the page of swords, this person is going to be watching you as you step forward into some sort of new beginning here. But it's like spirit is trying to direct this person, teach this person with the page of swords. Spirit is very much watching this person. And they're kind of putting things in this person's way to look at with the seven of pentacles, making them stop with the four of swords, making them see that there's other better opportunities or better ways to kind of live with the magician card and the four of wands this person has good that could possibly be coming to them but it's like if you keep moving in a way the sun there's happiness here to be had there's the star okay if this person would just make some changes adapt what they're doing five of pentacles but instead it's almost like they're taking the the route that's more traveled they're taking the hard route they're taking the route where they're going to have to experience some sort of loss and lack because they're not changing, they're just doing the same thing, expecting a different result. Clarify this Ten of Cups in the reverse, the Four card, the Death card, Five of Wands. I'm telling you, collective, whoever I'm speaking to, you have a connection coming in. Two of Cups is here twice on this table. And this is going to be a connection that's worth holding on to with the Four of Pentacles and the Two of Cups, okay? This is going to be a, a situation where you're going to be able to have fun. I feel like I'm talking to somebody who you... There's no fun in this relationship, this connection anymore. There's no happiness here. You possibly don't even go out and do much with this person because this person is on some... I don't even know what they're doing over here. But with the Nine of Cups here, there's wish fulfillment that's coming in. You're going to be fulfilled. But it's only when you choose to put an end to this situation where there's somebody who just doesn't give two craps about what's going on with you. Okay? If somebody was really that concerned and bothered, they will be doing what they need to do now while you're still in their life or while they still had the chance to make the changes. Justice is here. Something different is coming in for you. This person may fight. This person may want to go up in arms with you with the five of wands. But now there's competition that has entered the chat. They should have done right. They should have acted right but this person doesn't know how to act and now you've got something balanced where you're going to be fulfilled your cup is going to be filled you're going to be very content and you're going to be loved and treated in the way that you need to be treated and with the hand man this is going to open up your eyes to you know what what was I doing over here dealing with this when now I have all of this going on here. You've got a really nice connection coming in. Could be a water sign. We have Leo energy. We've got Aquarius energy here. Gemini, Libra and Aquarius here. Someone just isn't changing. What is the outcome here? The Queen of Cups, emotionally fulfilled. The Queen of Cups is here twice. This is what you're heading towards, Collective. Nine of Wands, you're exhausted. You're absolutely exhausted 
with this BS here. You're exhausted. Knight of Wands, exactly. A player, somebody in and out, somebody who you can't rely on. You know, you're exhausted with dealing with that energy. Star, wish fulfillment. Your cup runneth over as the Queen of Cups, emotional fulfillment, and the star, a healing connection. Queen of Swords, but you're going to have to put your foot down, okay? Just remember, look at how this person made you feel. Sometimes we sometimes forget what people do in our life, but we never forget how people make us feel. And that's what you need to think about when you feel, when you feel like you're at a crossroads with a decision between a new person who's here, open, willing to look after you, willing to cater to you, willing to be reliable because the King of Pentacles is a very reliable, stable person, you know, and with the Queen of Cups, there's also love here, the temperance, there's a back and forth here, a balance, Two of Cups, this is a relationship that you're going to want to take care of, Three of Cups, a lot of celebration, this person's going to be taking you out, I see drinking here, okay, I see fun times here, possibly going out, I'm seeing um, double dating, okay, you know, it's no contest. Eight of Pentacles. And more importantly, something that you are going to be able to put your effort into and it's not going to be in vain. Whereas before you were working towards something and somebody was sticking swords in you. And then after the fact, turning around and being like, oh, I've done it again. There's something wrong with this person here and they need healing and you do not need to be a part of this. You really do not because it's dragging you down with the nine of wands. And I feel like to say to you here, collective, that it's no contest. Collective, that is what I have for you. If you've enjoyed the reading, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. But until next time, collective, I will see you soon. You take care. Thank you for watching. Bye.